Good morning everyone, I have just finished uh, my first race, I mean two or three days ago, now I just came to tow out uh, this friend out from the Arbor and uh, yeah, just finished this first race, it's, uh, it's super cool, I finished uh, ninth overall uh, out of 55 boats, so, so that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool, I'm really happy about this and I just wanted to let you know that the project is going forward. I still don't have found any um, sure financing. There's some companies interested and everything. So um, I've been asked a lot if uh, you could, you guys could give me a hand, a Patreon or something. Uh, yes, you can give me a hand. So I've set up a crowdfunding page on uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Uh, the idea is to I uh, try to get some money to get me through the first months of the project so I can carry on uh, renting the boat, registering to the race, um, you know, pay for some equipment, for some coaching, until I find a sponsor. Uh, finding a, a proper sponsor takes time. It's, uh, it's kind of a, l a long process. So if you uh, want to give me a hand, uh, please have a look on uh, the link that I'll put in the description below. Have a look at the project. Um, there is a few uh, rewards. Uh, if you're not interested into rewards, there is also the, the possibility to just donate what you can and, and what you want. Uh, there is some reward. I tried to make some uh, a few fun ones. So if you're interested into that, have a look as well. And um, and yeah, so if you guys want to give me a thank you so much. Uh, that's amazing. It will help me carry uh, forward with the project while all this global situation crazy settles a little and companies trust again to uh, to sponsor uh, offshore racing so so yeah thank you so much for this have a look at uh, at the crowdfunding and now this episode that is coming I'm really looking forward to show it to you there is some uh, crazy drone footage that I'm super happy about so enjoy in the last episode I was on my way to Ireland to run the Conin Bay Cardinal Mark. After a bit more than 12 hours at high speed on the spinnaker in the fog, I was about to get really lucky. So the wind has just backed about 100 degrees as I was going around the mark kind of. So that's great because I came here flying spinnaker and I'm leaving here flying spinnaker pretty much. Uh, the only thing is that because it changed direction in quite a short amount of time, um, now the sea that was created by the previous wind is facing the new wind. So I'm on the spinnaker but kind of bumping into waves like if I was going upwind. And it's really not comfortable. So last night was pretty buzzy for me. I had to uh, avoid boats going in and out of the of the TSS while being in the wind hole. Uh, managed to sleep a little bit. Then I had a few cell changes this morning early. Once I was in the spinnaker, blasting at 40 knots, uh, 14 knots, I managed to uh, sleep I think three times 20 minutes. But then around 10 or something like this. Uh, or even nine, the fog came in. So I, I spent most of the time outside because with reduced vi visibility, I don't want to rely only on AIS. So I'm pretty tired. I, so I could go to sleep now. It's pretty much ideal like conditions. Little wind, but the only thing is the waves. Uh, it's better if I'm steering. I can choose uh, which wave I want to smash into. So hopefully soon this shitty sea will uh, will decrease and I'll be able to go and get some rest pretty tired but anyway doing good progress that's not too bad 
As soon as DC organizes, we'll be good to go. So it's a bit more calm at the moment. Uh, there's about 20 knots of wind. Uh, I'm spinning a max, about 130 degrees from the wind through in uh, doing around 12 knots uh, up to 14 15 and uh, yeah I'm in between there's nothing on AIS close to me um, I'm approaching about busy zone in a while in a moment so I'm going to take a 10 15 on a snap with my uh, my alarm yeah on 15 minutes and uh, yeah, just so no broaching or anything will wake me up till then. So that's the plan for sleeping. This, I like this. So last night was pretty hard. It's been blasting at more than 14 knots for a good part of the night and the morning. But now the sea is settling a little bit and the wind as well. So I might be able to get a little bit of rest. I'm also clearing uh, the PST. Um, I'm also clearing the TSS. The name in English. Uh, so less traffic, I'll be able to maybe get a few naps I need it but it's nice I've been putting lots of um, lots of intensity in, in this modification even if I don't have to it's nice to push a little bit uh, the limit or at least to find the limit you know to where you can still perform and when you start to be in the red zone so that's pretty nice and now the sun is here so this morning was really dark the sun just came out, that was pretty cool. My parents came um, just before I left for this uh, solo qualification loop and uh, thanks to them I'm not eating only um, noodles and you know instant noodles and shit like that. I also have like some really nice fruit and vegetables. So thanks a lot mom and dad for improving daily life on this passage. It's really nice to have fresh food on board. Thank you! And all this while surfing at 12 knots. So bon appétit!
I just don't know how to describe that. There is 22 to 25 knots of wind at the moment. We're blasting, skimming on top of the wave at 15 knots under autopilot. The boat is just super happy with the code 5. I just changed from Spinnaker Max to code 5 as the wind increased. And uh, yeah, happy days. No broach so far. And, uh, and yeah, just really, really fast under the pilot in a bumpy sea. Mind blasting. Completely crazy. Love it. Oh, and also, I'm completely uh, dry. Not a wet boat at all. I haven't got any waves so far. Or maybe one, but it was three days sail. Not too bad, eh? That was one of the most scary drone landing I've done in a while. But I think I got great pictures. Nice. Right, so now I need to do some astro navigation. Uh, for the disqualification loop, of course, we need to be able to operate um, a sextant and do astro navigation. So I need to do some sites for these. And at the same time, I'd use the same sides for uh, my uh, Yachtmaster Ocean uh, practical exam. So that's two really good reasons to do this astro navigation. But I've done so far uh, lots of astro navigation at my desk uh, while in lockdown. Now I have to do so uh, while surfing at about 
12 knots, making sure the squalls behind me don't reach me and I don't run into anyone in front of me. So that's more interesting than on the desk for sure. Let's see if I find my position. <laughs> I'm pretty sure sextants were not designed to be used on planning hulls which are skimming across the pond at high speeds. But surprisingly, my sights were within a few miles from my real position at the end. <laughs> 